Hello. Hello. Also, I, a random note, but it's so fucking hard to distinguish uh, men's mediums to women's sizes underwear because, like, there's just no chart online that's like, oh yeah, here you go, trans people. It's like, nope, good luck, fucker. Yeah, I... I've got it in medium for women's. I hope that's fine, cause I got, cause I'm a medium in men's. So yeah. <laughs> you just look at the size, and it's just ancient Atlantis glyphs. <laughs> oh. I could. I could change it if need be. Hallmark is not the is not the stream sponsor. Uh, we are not sponsored by Hallmark. Uh, Hey, Ferris, I think you've been unmuted this whole time, actually. I'm going to throw myself into the sea. Ferris? Hello? Hi, everyone. Welcome to I Don't Understand How Audio Mixing Works. You good, Ferris? This is my friend. Oh! Hello? Oh, God, hello. I thought you, I thought you, did, I, you vanished. I, 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 I vanished as a joke for a second, <laughs> and I was going to rejoin, and then my internet was like, ah, oh, so you, you want everything dead. You got it. You got oh, it, buddy. Oh, no. That's um, all good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Because you did draw me uh, in my furry form, so I'm going to shapeshift over to that one sec. Oh, really? And use my shapeshifter powers. Did I? <laughs> okay, oh, God. Cool. Oh, it's not... And not just any furry form. It's the it's the JoJo-looking one. <laughs> Nani? Nani? Well, hello, okay. ev hello, everyone. Welcome to... Um, special holiday setup stream i'm here with my my good my good friend ferris the demon queen give you a shout out hey Vati, it is me uh, i am the gayest woman if you are a woman lock your doors lest i kiss you you're like the the uh the woman version of the angel of death although passover is not until like april i think uh, yeah, we already had Passover. Uh, we're gonna have Hanukkah soon, even though it's not really that important of a holiday. It's just a fun, funny candle holiday. Uh, <laughs> you say that, but that's what it essentially is. I mean, Christmas is a whole fucking mess, even we don't know. Christmas is essentially just funny tree holiday. Um, uh, Christmas, I think, believe I believe was from Saturnalia, which was about gay sex and partying, and then... Uh, it was also, uh, like, in, like, the British times, the old British times, like, during Christmas, it was like, hey, let's go on the street and then, you know, kill rich people. It was basically, like, the purge. Christmas? And then, <laughs> and, and then they became the eventual monster we know today. Yeah, Christmas is just a big mess of, um, different pagan traditions and weird 
um, European stuff and all sorts of things. I'm going to put on some Christmas jazz is, while we do is this. Is my nephew beside you? Is my nephew beside you? Yes. Hi, with nephew. Us. It's good to see you. Um, has your dad been treating you well? Um, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Maybe still can't talk, but it, they, they can sort of project thoughts a little bit, I, so. It's, it's just, I just imagine while they're thinking of what to say, it's just three dots over their head. <laughs> yeah, just at all times. Mm -hmm. Um, But let me, uh, hello everyone. Um, Tonight is a special night. You can see I've got my little holiday set up here. And me and Ferris are going <clears> to <throat> try an idea that I had um, when I realized what bullshit um, some of the titles of Hallmark movies are. <clears throat> and that is, <clears throat> we're going to tell each other, um, we're going to go back and forth, giving each other the names of different Hallmark Christmas movies. And the other person will have to try to guess what the plot is exclusively based on the title. Hmm. Yes. Uh, and thankfully, the Hallmark Channel website uh, gives a, a nice little snippet at the uh, at the bottom here, so that's nice. Oh, did you send that to me? Uh, the Hallmark Channel? <laughs> no, wait, actually. I think I can find... There's probably a Wikipedia article or something with all the movies, right? Um, here, let me look up uh, Hallmark Wikipedia right now. Uh, or, like, how, <laughs> I guess I'll probably give more movie plot. Uh... All Hallmark Christmas movies. Movies. Wikipedia. The free encyclopedia. Mm. What Wikipedia? Uh, 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 what Wikipedia article did you edit my death into? All dogs go to heaven too. Um, they have Christmas movies A to Z, but not specifically. They must have specifically Hallmark. Uh, they. Hey. There's, there's Hallmark, a list of Hall Hallmark Channel original movies. Ooh, hey, that's, for, for original. that's good. Why did I just find an, an article that says 400 upcoming Hallmark Christmas movies 2022? We're fucked. Uh, we're we are screwed die. beyond belief. Mm -hmm. Hello, Toon. Welcome on in. Hello, Toon. Happy birthday. Oh my god, is it is it their birthday? No, it's not. Oh. God damn it. Got me all excited. Uh, okay, move. It's not saying which ones. Okay, I'm going to the Hallmark website because that one says, like, Christmas movies specifically. Okay. Hallmark's. Should I go with an article that says 40 best Hallmark Christmas movies just to start with the best, I guess? Uh, sure. Okay. Now, looking at some of these, some of these titles are so goddamn vague uh, that in certain circumstances, I'm gonna allow one of us to, like, describe the cover art a little bit to the other if we're having trouble. Thinking of, like, what could this possibly be about? Um, uh, I'm doing okay, Toon. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, hey, Toon, I have a question for you. Uh, what's your favorite Hallmark movie? And if you don't have an answer, you die. In five? Four? four three, three? Two? two one? one. <laughs> Toon's dead, everybody. Okay. Uh, guys, Toon's a ghost now. Hey, Toon is, is like Mac now. <laughs> Toons like Mac, and they are the... So, so, so far we have the ghost of Christmas past and the ghost of Christmas present. Now we just need the ghost of Christmas future. Um, uh, wait, didn't you kill me at one point? Yeah. Oh, but I do have, like, another ghost friend, so they can be Christmas future. Wait, right, and can I, be, can I be the equivalent of Marley? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so are you ready to get the shindig started, Abbott? Um, Absolutely. All right. Uh, okay. Should I start? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a good one. Okay. This is a good one. 
Hey, oh, wait, wish. really quick. Yeah. By the way, everyone, because um, my laptop's not doing great with how well it's running. Um, if at any point this stream, I'm not watching my own stream. So if at any point it looks scuffed, just let me know and I'll see what I can do to fix things. Looks pretty good so far. Okay. Uh, okay, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> First title. We wish you a married Christmas. Hmm. Well, that is a classic. You know, now, now the song's playing in my head, so that's great. Mm -hmm. Um, wait, hang on. Hang on, Toon has given us their favorite Hallmark movie, so maybe they didn't die. Okay, okay, we'll say that Toon is a, is a if, zombie. Their favorite Hallmark movie is the one where female protag finds love during holiday on trip to location. And as it turns out, it's a hot dude who does firefighter, doctor, slash charity work. Man, this guy does a lot during during holiday. He, like, so, someone's gotta do it. That's why she falls uh, in love with the, him. The firefighter, doctor, charity. That's my favorite okay. charity. So we wish you a Merry Christmas. A married Christmas. Married. A married Christmas? Yes, married. Okay. That's kind of cute. Um, so I can only assume that marriage will play a part in this film at some point um hang on i'm trying to imagine heterosexuality which i don't often do because that's i think the forerunner in most of these movies mm -hmm. okay so for for some uh bizarre set of circumstances um some wacky hijinks um there are these uh two people who have to get married by Christmas. Maybe because of family reasons, they expect it, maybe they're caught in some sort of lie. Um, so they find each other, and they realize they share the same situation, and they're like, alright, let's get married during the holidays. And like, they, they think it's just going to be like a quick convenience thing, or maybe a fake, but throughout the whole process, they realize they do actually are really into each other, and they fall in love, and then they're married for real, and it's very beautiful. And maybe like an ex comes back for a little bit of drama, um, <laughs> but for the most part, it has a happy ending in the snow, and then they drive off into the night. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> okay, so I'm laughing because that's a really good guess. But it's not correct. Oh, no. Okay. Here, do you want me to read it in, like, the Hallmark announcer voice? Yeah, yeah. After after each of our, our bullshit guesses, we're gonna, like, tell each other the actual plots. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Becca and Ravi are a married couple having a hard time connecting with each other over mm -hmm. the holidays. But just before Christmas, they head to a cozy Vermont inn in... in in at the advice of their marriage coach so they can recharge. Their weekend away goes unexpectedly extended when a mishap puts their car out of commission and just may put them on the road to a very happily married Christmas. Oh, so so the marriage the wedding already happened as it is. Yeah, so just like two people they have a rocky marriage and then during Christmas, they're stuck at an end, and then they find love again. The only way we could get these two idiots to recounsel their marriage and talk about their problems is to stick them in a car for 48 hours. No, an act of God keeps them in an inn, and then it's like, well, time to fuck. God himself was like, you two are gonna stay there until you sort this out. Mm. It is it, listen, this is good drama. I need you two to stay married, all right? I'm begging you. There is some bloodline shit that needs to happen. Um, oh, Toon wants to know who did your avatar. It's so cute. Oh, uh, my friend uh, Lexi did. Uh, here, can I give... Here, let me go to her Twitter real quick, actually. Yeah. Let me do that. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> do, do, do. Yes. Uh, her name is Lex. I'll put it in the chat. It's very lovely. Anyway, yeah. uh, so n no points, but you know, I guess That's we're fair. doing points now. We're doing points now. So you get no points. <laughs> okay. But, you know, it's okay. Is it like whose lines it anyway? The points don't matter. We just make them up. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, y you know, I'll give Toon a point. Toon gets a point because uh, they complimented my avatar. Yeah, Toon gets one point. 
Okay, now it's time for your turn. Give me a plot. Okay, here's um, here's a title for you. This one is from this year. Um, Noel Next Door. Oh, I actually saw that one. Oh, um, wait. I didn't look at the plot. I didn't look at the plot, though. I didn't look at the plot. Okay. Okay. Um, so if I had to guess, there's some crumpy guy, and he doesn't like Christmas all that much. But he has to deal with it. And then, like, he moves into a new place. And then his next-door neighbor is the most beautiful, amazing woman you could ever think of. And her name is Noelle. And then the two get more connected, and it's a beautiful love story. And then he learns the joy of Christmas, and he rekindles love in his heart thanks to Noelle. Hmm. Look, I'm just realizing this Cosmopolitan article doesn't give me good summaries of movies so let me just I actually have it right here so i could i could read out the plot if you wanted well i think i got oh hey on imdb it has a rating of 6.9 out of 10 nice <laughs> no it's next door darn okay so i think you mostly got it. it it says it follows a single mom as she gets into a war of words with a neighbor who is ruining christmas only to find that this misunderstood grouch just may steal her heart um, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I need to find some older Hallmark movies so that they have Wikipedia articles for them. Okay, here, let me... Okay. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to read the next one. Okay. Lay it on me. Okay, I need to think... Okay, I need to pick a... Ooh, like a... Oh, uh, this is... This is... Okay, a good title. Ghosts of Christmas Always. Ghosts of Christmas Always? Yep. Ooh. It's, it, it's years in the future. Capitalism's at an all-tie high. We got a billionaire who's particularly nasty. And guess what? The ghosts of Christmas, past, present, and future, they're back, baby. But this time they have a hundred guns. And they're mm. going to make this bastard become giving and dismantle capitalism in the way they realized only the only way you can get a rich person to do it which is when you threaten uh that person themselves and then their final in the final act they all merge into one super big ghost spirit which is the ghost of christmas always and through their combined force they are able to dismantle capitalism and finally bring peace and joy to the world. Okay, so I love this as a Power Rangers episode. Unfortunately, this is not Ghosts of Christmas Always. Yeah. Uh, Catherine is a ghost of Christmas present, and she must help one soul, Peter, rediscover his Christmas spirit. But this year has something unusual in store. Hmm. Hang on. Um, wait, it's, Toon says, wait, is this the one where a strong independent woman climbs a mountain? No, wait, that's just the plot of my favorite game celeste but i guess that is huh okay one second okay okay i have to move but i'm still listening so recount your plot um i guess uh well, let me find a good one for you you know how about your son gets a point he deserves one yeah every single round alec gets a point no matter what mm-hmm so he has three. Someone's... Oh, right, I have a fucking therapy appointment Tuesday. Um, t t yeah, I guess you are being a little silly, huh, Toon? I want to be careful. Don't want to overdose on silliness. I... <laughs> oh, be careful what you say, Toon, because you might just get it. Wait, that doesn't work. Anyways, okay. Abby, lay a plot on me. I'd love to hear about... Um, the, and some Hallmark Christmas bullshit. Yeah. Here's a title for you. A <laughs> Boyfriend for Christmas. Um, okay. Okay. Trying to think of the writer brain of a sad 40-year-old cis man. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So, this is my guess. So, there, there's some bitch. We'll, we'll just name her. We'll call her Catherine, right? So, Catherine is like... You know, like a young college student, maybe 18, and she's she's never found love before. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, she, for once in her life, 
is like, you know, she hopes to Santa Claus, hey, give me, give me a boyfriend, Santa, and then she sees the biggest box in, under the Christmas tree and opens it, and it's the perfect boyfriend. And at first, everything is going well, and then uh, there... <laughs> Then it turns out well, she didn't want the perfect boyfriend. She just wanted her friend Gary, but she didn't know how to express her feelings. And then, you know, she meets with Santa and is like, I already have the perfect boyfriend. I already got a boyfriend for Christmas. And then they, t and then Gary and Catherine kiss on New Year's. Aw. And then the boy, and then the original um, homunculus <laughs> boyfriend gets cremated. <laughs> yeah, he's going to some other bitch. Hi, Dragon Cat Man. Um, let me see, um, I have the plot here. It says, um, after helping a boy take his little sister to see Santa, 13-year-old Holly Grant tells a shopping mall Santa that she would like to have a boyfriend for Christmas. 20 years later, Holly's a romantic skeptic and more focused on her career as a social worker. At the time, she's in court helping a mother get her children back from foster care. When the mo mother's lawyer, Ryan Hughes, does not show up in court, Holly's extremely angry and sends Hughes a letter via her secretary. On Christmas Day, she opens her door to a man carrying a Christmas tree and a bow on his chest. He hands her a note that says, As promised, a one boyfriend for Christmas, and introduces himself as Douglas Furwood. She assumes he is a gag present from her friend Diane and invites him into her home. Uh, later that day, she takes him with her to her parents' house for Christmas dinner, hoping to keep her matchmaking family, especially her manipulative sister-in-law, Carol, off her back. She tells everyone Douglas is her long-term boyfriend, and Douglas plays along. On New Year's Eve, Holly learns from her scheming ex-boyfriend, Ted, that Douglas is really Ryan Hughes, who was sent to her by Santa Claus. She accuses him of lying to her and tells him to leave. After persuasion by Santa Claus, I guess Santa Claus is in this movie. You got that right. And mm -hmm. refusing Ted's marriage proposals, she follows Ryan. They meet up at a park. They finally remember where they first met at age 13, where she helped him take his little sister to see Santa. And they watched the New York's fireworks together. So, big convoluted setup. I see. Can I get one, like, tiny point that looks like a Santa ornament? Can I you have can, that? You can have one snickerdoodle. Okay, I can have a snickerdoodle point. Uh, this. I'll mark movies lots. Okay, I'm trying to... Okay, hold up. I'm trying to see, like... Wait. Movies, uh, list. I'm trying to find more of them, because I want to have a more detailed plot list. Because that last one I did didn't have much. Yeah, I'm not... It's, it's a little tricky. Find, like, the... You'd think with Hallmark movies, or maybe it's just there's so many of them, no one wants to bother. Mm. Okay, I'm looking at IMDb at least. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, this is this is a good one. You ready? Yeah. Okay. This isn't much plot summary, but it's better than nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Hats off to Christmas. Okay, okay. I think I was looking at that same title too, but I did not see the plot. Um. So here's your... Okay, let me think. I'm going to use my wizard hat to big brain think about what this plot could be. Okay. So, we have our protagonists in this story. Honestly, I think this is just sort of a thing that affects most people. Um. Oh! Hi, Echo! <laughs> You're in wait, class? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Echo Heo, hello! Hello! That's been a while. Thank you for stopping by to say hi. I hope you're doing better in class than I am, because I'm definitely going to fail at least one of mine. I feel like I'm going to barely pass all of mine. Anyways, uh, hats yeah. off to Christmas. Oh, okay. Plot happy. So, Christmas is coming up. Um, But there's a problem. Santa keeps a bit of his magic stored in his, um, his hat. That's where some of his magic is stored. That's essential for his, his Christmas job. But this year, his hat has been stolen. And it's not just his. Around the world, countless uh, hats, Christmas-themed Christmas, Christmas -themed ones, um, in cell fedoras, all sorts of hats are being stolen. And now it's a race against the clock to find the culprit, to get everyone's hats back in time for Christmas so that we can save the holiday. Um, lots of fun chase scenes. Santa's there. Um, Hallmark should just hire me, I think, like, to be honest. 
Oh, okay. I can just look this shit up on the... Okay. So, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Mia, the loyal and hardworking manager of her small town's Christmas hat shop, is blindsided when her boss of over 10 years asks her to train his son, Nick, for a vacant upper management position that Mia had been coveting. Although Nick is a handsome, successful New York City business consultant, Mia finds training him frustrating until Nick takes interest in Mia's son, Scotty. Helping Scotty with a pumpkin carving contest. Mm. Uh, however, Mia's faith in Nick quickly diminishes when Nick fails to show up at the contest to protect her son from further disappointment. Mia tries to keep Nick out of her and Scotty's fragile life, and Nick must decide if staying in a small town of uh, Wilsonville is worth giving up in the big city perks he once had in New York. As Mia struggles to find a way to convince Scotty to return to physical therapy so he can walk again. She soon realizes that Nick may be the Christmas miracle she'd been waiting for. Does he stay or does he return to the Big Apple? So this is kind of, it's kind of a little bit of a gender roles reverse on the typical hardworking businesswoman. Now it's a hardworking businessman who finds holiday love in a um, small town woman and has to decide between his two lives. But here's the thing, Ferris. What does this plot have to do with hats? Oh, um, so, uh, the, the woman worked at a hat shop. Oh, That's wait, it. I forgot about that. My attention span is that of That's it. a tiny bird. That's fine. Don't worry. Uh, okay, well, that's that. Uh, you, you get, um, not a point, but you get a hat instead. The hat doesn't do anything, but it looks cool. I get a very tiny hat that I put inside my wizard hat, and it's just there. Here, uh, actually, do you want me to find you a PNG of a... <laughs> sure. Um. <laughs> we can find a Christmas sombrero. Oh my god! I mean, sombrero just means hat in Spanish, so I that. I know. Could... But mm. like, people associate with the hat. Yeah. Um. Nikki says, ironically, the hardworking businesswoman is a role reversal of the original stereotype of the stay-at-home mom. So this is just a role reversal of a role reversal. Yeah, we're heading back to our roots, essentially. So, uh. Okay, uh, do you... I couldn't, I, I, I found a Christmas top hat, is that better? Uh, any, anything works. Sure. I'll <laughs> just send a picture of my, of my house address. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyways, there you go, uh. Okay. Let me open up Discord again. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Um, um this is I'm this is actually transparent, right? And it's not just one of those fake transparent ones. I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, if it's not if it's not like actually transparent, that would be funnier. Actually, you're right. It absolutely would be. Um, hang on. Let me Okay. Save that. <laughs> and now let's pop that on. I mean, I could always edit it to be transparent. Mm, let's see. And... Okay, so have... let's get this image. And... I don't think... Uh, yeah, it's fake transparent. <laughs> Here, I'll make it real transparent. How's that sound for you? Um, or I could just put it on your head like that. Yeah. Uh, no, no, actually, I, I, I just fixed it. Uh, I put oh. it in Photoshop. Uh, here, save as a... Here, do you want a JPEG or a PNG? Um, I guess PNG. Is that Rob I see in chat? Hello, Rob. Abby. Abby is gay.png. I mean, yeah, you don't have to put me on blast like that. Uh, no, I will. So Abby really wants to kiss men, guys. Like, ha have you seen this guy? He wants to kiss men. He wants to kiss the men. Kiss um, the men. Hang on. Uh, Rob says, guess guess who tried to sponsor me? Um, it, Is Genshin Impact str still trying to get inside your door, Rob? Are, are they still trying to break down your windows? Okay, I gave you a real hat. You can put it on okay. your son if you'd like. Fucking Raid Shadow Legends keeps trying to- Oh, this is really nice. 
fucking Raid Shadow Legends keeps trying to sponsor me, and I keep telling them I have no idea what your your game's about. I think I know what uh, you should. I think I know what Raid Shadow Legends should do. They should do this. Ow! My whole scene. I listen. I'm Jewish. I must destroy the Christmas spirit. That's true. No better way to do that, because uh, I ate the Christmas spirit, you see. So to destroy, you'll have to destroy me. Good. It, it just, that's actually kind of a creepy idea. Like It's like Christmas Carol, but the ghosts possess someone. Yes. Anyways, I'm ready, for, uh, I'm ready for your next Christmas plot. Let's go. Okay. Do you want me to put this hat on your head or on my head? Uh, on your son's head. Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's perfect. Hang on. Let me uh, put this down a layer, and then... Where is Sun? Here's Sun. Okay. There we go. All right. Now my little boys, uh, they're looking festive. Right. Okay. I just, I, I just imagine just your son just has the biggest smirk on. Yeah, it's it's generally the same expression on them most of the time. But you can tell what Palette's thinking. Um, right. And yeah, Nikki, for uh, the low, low price of 1,500 channel points, you can blow me to kingdom come. Okay. I, I, only... <laughs> I mean, I know some men who'd probably want to do that to you anyway. Okay, I think we're reading from the same list, so I'm just going to go down. Um, yeah. Oh, Fortnite wants to sponsor you. Goddamn. Hell yeah. When are they going to make a Fortnite Christmas movie? Uh, <laughs> Jimmy was a Fortnite player, and he spent all his time in game. But then one day, he found a gamer girl. Named Samantha. And he was like, what, dude? And they met in Fortnite, and they were the ultimate gaming duo. Yeah, but then they realized something. That they were in love. And Jimmy spent all of his money just to see the girl. Even though his parents didn't understand. And it's a clip of a dad being like, You're gonna sacrifice everything for this virtual lady? This like this girl that you met on your Fortnites or whatever the heck, and then like cut to like a scene with the mom being like, "I know that you, I know that you love her, so go chase your dreams." Go, Junior. Mm. <laughs> the dad's name's Jimmy, so I guess it's Jimmy Junior. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then it's uh you know premiering tomorrow night. Anyways, give me a movie. Come on. Okay. 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 Um, yes, I think it's the same. Uh, how about... Hmm. How about this one that's just called Christmas Cookies? Okay, okay. Uh, I feel like this is a very, like, non-literal title. Like, it's like, it's called Christmas Cookies, but it has barely anything, I, if nothing at all, to do I with know cookies. I, I know I said if we were struggling to imagine it, we could give, like, some stuff about the cover but honestly it's just a, a cishet couple just standing next to each other in a kitchen so like i don't know what else to tell you oh so my parents got it okay <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so yeah this movie's um, about your parents okay so uh i was gonna say my parents names oh shit uh i'll say their first names uh they don't care so uh John is an upcoming cook uh, from born and raised in Michigan, and he has the best cookie recipe that you've ever tasted. And he he's off at his college trying to perfect it, but he doesn't know how how to clean the dishes well. Enter Sarah, a very hardworking, very no nonsense woman who enters in as as his new roommate. And at first they don't get along, but then. Uh, she learns of his Christmas cookies, and he learns that she can clean up a house real well. And so they become the ultimate baking duo. But then something more happens. Not only is it the spark of the oven, it's the spark of love. And, and there you go. Ooh, I like that. I don't yeah. think you were close. Uh, let me read what I am VD. Yeah. Um, it just says, a corporate agent is sent to a small town to buy a cookie company and shut down its factory. When she starts falling in love with the factory's owner, the town's Christmas spirit takes over her. 
So that's number one for the a big city woman moves to a small town and uh, falls in love with a, with a small town boy who shows her the meaning of Christmas counter. That's number one. Okay, here. Uh, so I'm trying to look up the about page. Okay. Aunt, Aunt Sally's Christmas Cookie Company is sold to a large conglomerate executive, Hannah. M must steal and deal and shut down the factory, which which is the small which, which is the small town of Cookie Jar's lifeblood. What was supposed to be a simple assignment for Hannah becomes complicated when she meets Jake, uh, the factory owner who's determined to keep the factory in town. Despite not being a big fan of the holiday, the Christmas spirit in this small town is infectious and she gets swept up in the joy of the season while also falling in love. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely... Imagine just living in a town called Cookie Jar. Imagine living. Imagine life. In. Oh. All right. Well, yeah. So I failed. Uh, do I get a cookie at least? Yeah, you get um, this one. Um, sorry, this one's oatmeal raisin. No, no, no I like oatmeal raisin here. Let me okay, so you get to eat all my oatmeal raisins. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Oh! Mm. Yeah, sorry, um, I unhinged my jaw like a snake. I didn't tell you that. Y yeah, yeah, I, 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 I perceive that now. Yeah, uh, I'm a shapeshifter, so I can do that. Yeah, that, make, that anyway. makes sense. Anyway, so you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, ooh, this is a good one. Oh. This is a really good one. Uh, three wise men and a baby. <laughs> Three wise men and me? A baby. And a baby. <laughs> I mean, are you a baby? <laughs> I just might be. Um, a baby. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. For some reason, my brain's determined to turn each of these into, like, wholesome comedy movies instead of romances, even though I know that's what the majority of them are. <laughs> it's, just a th it's just a gay three-thruple movie. God, if only. All right, that's part of the background plot, but for the, the main <laughs> plot, we're going back, back in time, to the birth of our boy, JC, Oily Josh. You know him. The one, the only, Jesus Christ. My, my man, Yeshua. Give it up for him. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, okay, so back it's back in, um, I don't have the specifics of, like, the whole Bible story. Um, the same, okay, so the, the devil can tell <clears throat> upon his birth that he's, um, gonna be a big trouble. So, so things go a little bit differently. Um, Mary and, um, his dad, they end up... Um, the wrong place at the wrong time. God's like, this isn't supposed to happen. And because of that, um, the people who are supposed to be there um, aren't there. And um, the devil is able to send up some of his agents, some of his demons, to snatch baby Jesus away um, and bring him somewhere very far away. Try and um, have him... Oh, hi, Stormtrooper. Welcome on in. I'm, tell I'm telling us a story about the kidnapping of Jesus. Um, so, so they, so dumps him somewhere far away, but who stumbles upon baby Jesus? It's the three wise men who were on their way and realizing something's very wrong. Um, the, the movie follows them on a journey, the three wise men on a journey with baby Jesus, try, um, trying to get him back to his parents, back, uh, where he belongs before Satan can catch up and... I don't know what what Satan would do with Jesus. Maybe raise him himself. Like you, you're my boy now. That could be a <laughs> whole movie in of itself. With, um, there's a scene with Satan and Jesus, and Satan's like, "Now this is how you be a gay." So you see that man over there? You make him kiss. <laughs> the, 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 apparently, God doesn't like that, and I don't know why. But that's what the humans are saying, so I guess it's true. Hey, Storm, anyway. Storm Flipper, what do you mean by it's slipper time? 
anyways, so three wise men and a baby. Three brothers get the surprise of their lives when they are forced to when they are forced to work together and care for a baby over the holidays. Hmm. And that's it. That's all. Like oh, okay. I'm on the about page, and there's there's so, something else. So it's like Full House with considerably less characters. Um, theoretically. Unless they, you know, put in a bunch of characters, including Santa Claus. Okay. I'm just, I'm just imagining those guys from Full House now, but, like, dressed like the wise men in, like, really crude costumes. Ugh. Okay, well, okay. that's three wise men and a baby. It's your turn now. Okay. I'm, okay. Actually, I'm actually gonna qu quick pause. I need to get Charger. I'll be right back. Okay, take your time. Okay, I'll be right back. Ugh. Oh. Ferris's corpse is just gonna stand there menacingly for a bit. The fucking JoJo stance. I wonder if I could, like... Hmm. Chat, do you think I'd... I know nothing about JoJo. Do you think I'd make a good stand? Let me try something. Uh, where am I? I think I'm actually... Yeah. Hang on. Oh, yeah. And now let me... Um, I think I can change the filter on this. Chroma key. Uh, mm, contrast. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa! What does Gamma do? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I'm. Did I turn the opacity up? What is that? What Gamma does? Hang on. I think opacities. <laughs> it's standard Sukai. <laughs> Zawaru do. Can I find the JoJo? Um, can I find the, the the JoJo like go 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 sound effects? Hmm. What movie do you have before us, me? Oh, hang on, I got distracted because I'm your stand now. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> You're just, I, I was, I, I thought I'd become your stand you while you were you away. You motherfucker! I'm not JoJo. <laughs> you could be. No, oh. my name is Ferris. If anything, my name would be Fei Fei. Okay, that's true. Uh, let me, let me de-stand myself then, really quick. Hmm. Uh, hang on. <laughs> what would our power, like, what would my powers be if you were my stand? Uh, depends on what music I'd be based on. Well, what music would you be based on? Probably like some penis music or something. Sort of like meme like funny music. Something like very haunting, but also like something that would definitely become viral online. Like, I guess something wizardly. I don't know. It would have to go hard though, also. God, I don't I just don't know. Wizard rock. Mm, maybe. I just turn mm. into a huge rock and crush your enemies. Uh, yeah, um, you, you give me, like, um, earthbending powers, but that also lets me, like, bend, like, the metal in people's systems. Yeah, you didn't even have to, you didn't even have to go through that whole arc Toph went through. You can just do it. Mm hmm I realized my son, um, was a little too big, uh, compared to my, my body, like, what size he'd be, so I rectified that, but also oh. now... Um, now also I think the hat's a little bit <laughs> too big um, on him. Uh, oh, actually, Abby, uh, I, I gave him, uh, like, he was thirsty, so, and I couldn't find, like, where your sink was, so I just gave him some weird potion. Uh, I think it was, I think it might have been grow potion. Okay, so he's just gonna be fluctuating for a bit. Alright, that's yeah. fine. I can deal with that. Um, mm -hmm. let's look at more movie. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. How about... About broadcasting Christmas. Hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I actually like this one. Okay. Um. So. 
It's about a TV executive. And, like, the... It, uh, you know, fuck it, I'll just say, uh, it's just a man. So there's this man, we'll call him Jerry. And Jerry, he, he doesn't understand Christmas. And, and he's a TV executive, you know, producer and all that stuff. And, like, he doesn't want there to be any, you know, Christmas carol, none of that. He, he's, like, the anti homework So, like, we're not supposed to like him at first. And then, like, there's this up-and-coming director, writer, and, like, she has an idea for a, an amazing Christmas film, and then, like, the two fall in love, and, like, he starts to learn about, like, creativity and Christmas and the value of both. Like, and he loses his rigidity. And, like, and, like she, like, learns follow-through and how to get the stuff done, and then the two fall in love and make a beautiful adaptation of uh, Christmas Carol. And, and that's uh, what it is. Ooh, I like that. I'm um, guessing it's nowhere near close. Yeah, this one also has very little... This one also only has the IMBD page for it, so there's very little information. It says, uh, Two news broadcasters who previously were in love fight for a position as a morning talk show host that they both want, ultimately finding what made them like each other so much in the first place. So it's kind of a story of rekindled love. Mm. I want to see some of the, 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 the re critic reviews for this. I want to see what beef people had with some of these movies. Mm. Uh, I mean, probably just they were very boring. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, what was? Why do I care about two assholes who want to be on TV? I will never be on TV. What is the point? <clears throat> mm. Okay, so they don't actually have the reviews on the page. It's all external, and one of the first link says assholes watching movies. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Fun. Uh. Okay. Hit me with it. Okay, you ready? Do you want the most cringy title I have so far? Yes. Oh, are you re are you sure you're ready? I was born ready and Freddy. Okay. Hashtag Xmas. Are you are you fucking kidding me? I'm Ferris. Nice to meet you. Um, I don't know who kidding me is, but if they are. Yeah, my, uh, and they consented, I would be fucking them. You know what? If it starts with a hashtag, is it the symbol? Uh, yes. Ha it's the symbol. Like, Octothorpe. Okay. The symbol. Uh, and it also, it's capital X M A S. Okay. Ferris, I'm gonna say something, um, I haven't, I didn't think I'd say during this segment. That's a trick question. Because <laughs> that is the title of a Sam and Cat episode. <laughs> this this is not a Hallmark movie. This is um, the unreleased Christmas special of Sam and Cat, where they get into Christmas hijinks together, um, some babysitting stuff. Honestly, the show is so fucking awful. I don't even want to consider it. Jeez, can Louise. We, can we do that? Can we put in some like trick question ones just for fun? Oh my god! Just every okay, every now and then you put it. Every in... now and then, it's not all the time, but every now and then we'll put okay. in a fake. One. So every now and then, we say like a fake title, and then we have to like see if it's. We could try calling it out if we think it's fake, and then we still gotta guess if it's not. Okay. Okay, but I will say though, I will say. Hallmark has made so many fucking bullshit Christmas movies that for any fake title we come up with, there's a good chance that it is a real movie. Mm, the... Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, so that was your guess. Uh, when Jen gets the chance to enter a brand brand design contest, she poses a family. She poses a. She poses a family influencer. Enlisting the help of her best friend Max and her baby nephew. When her video is selected as a finalist, Jen is torn on whether to go on with, with her perfect quote unquote family or reveal the truth. So it's like one of those movies where it's like mm. she lies to get popular. Yeah, that's not a great start to a relationship. Mm hmm. I mean, it, it could be, but like when you put the baby in the mix, it's like, what can you do with that? That's your nephew. Mm hmm. Okay, so I get no snickerdoodles. Mm -mm. Uh, you know what? Actually, uh, you get you get one free hashtag. Uh, so that how to use it? Oh god, I get my own episode of Salmon Cat. <laughs> 
Okay. Let me see. All right. How about... I'm trying to find the funniest ones. Um, how about a very merry mix-up? Now, mix-up and Christmas, like, they, they go hand-in-hand in, hand in Hallmark movies, might mm -hmm. I say. Okay, so you ready? Yes. This is my guess. So it's like... Oh, hang on, my roommates are... They, they think they've brought people over, they're being very loud right now. Just a second. Okay, okay. Ugh. Oh. Bless you. They're saying like, oh my god. Oh my god, white people. I could make a whole Hallmark Christmas movie about them. Okay. <laughs> what? Abby is a young man going through college and he hates everything, including his roommates. Coming, coming this Christmas season of 2022, new roommates for Christmas. Okay. Coming at uh, Christmas 2023, how I killed my roommates. <laughs> 2024, I I'm a, I spend my Christmas running away from the cops. Ready for my guess? Um, yes. Okay, so this is my guess. So my guess is, um about two different groups you know group a and group b so group a uh, let's say again we'll just give names so there's mark right mark is uh you know he's he, he's like a he's a he's a nice fellow he has a, a very you know good life and he's trying to woo a girl right mm -hmm. and then you know group b we have uh freddie freddie is like already in a relationship but it's kind of rocky and he wants to kind of like you know, pro prove his worth, you know, be like, hey, I love you, baby, right? And so both of them, uh, you know, go to uh, go to a bakery. They both order something, but then the, the order gets mixed up, you know, the Christmas mix up, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, they get their orders wrong and then uh, they like, you know, it's like they, you know, it's like a few days before Christmas and, you know, they're looking, it's like, hey, baby, I brought the dessert and then it's like they both realize, oh shit, I got the wrong dessert. Oh no! But then, and they're trying to find each other across, New, you know, New York City. And uh, then, uh, you know, one of them realizes, hey, wait a minute, maybe, you know, like they both have have their lesson. They kind of learn from each other when they find each other, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's like, hey, maybe I don't need to prove my worth. Maybe I just already have it. And she was just trying to, she just wanted me to love myself more. And then the other one was like, hey, maybe I don't need her love to be whole. Maybe, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have to, like, have her. I'll, I'll find someone else in due time. And that, that's the Christmas mix-up. Hallmark should seriously hire us. Uh, yeah, they should. Uh, anyways, uh, okay. what's the plot? Um, this for this one. A woman goes to spend Christmas with her fiancé's family, but ends up at the wrong house. However, she instantly bonds with the couple who live there and becomes attracted to their son. So I can only hope it's like, you know, the couple that lives there is old and they have an adult son, because otherwise this is a crime against nature. Mm. Um, okay. So when the mistake comes to light, she wonders whether she might be happier with her newfound friends than her partner and his relatives. Hmm. Huh. Okay. It's a whole, it's a whole mess she's found herself in. You know what I realized when you were describing, um, that plot? Yeah. I feel like so many of these, um, uh, so many of these Hallmark Christmas movies, um, focus on the settings of, like, small towns and specifically New York City or, like, some other big, big cities. I feel like if we made our own Hallmark movie, I'd want to spice up the setting a little bit. Do yeah. something... I have something set in Michigan. My fucking state gets no representation in media. So, something in, in Michigan. May, maybe you have your Chris. Maybe a Christmas movie set on the ocean, or in a desert, or something. Uh, we're actually there. You know, Chris. Uh, Michigan's surrounded by the Great Lakes for the most part. So that's true. It'd be we like it'd be like a, a, a Christmas sailing adventure with pirate Santa Claus. He, he he tried to find the ocean, but he he just found the Great Lakes and he he hasn't realized it yet. Yeah. 
Anyways, uh, yeah. Are you ready for my next Christmas title? Yes. This is the craziest one we've had so far. Oh, God. And remember, you just have to guess if this is a real thing or a fake thing as well. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Operation Naughty. Oh! And Naughty is spelled N dot A dot, you know, it's like a, it's an acronym. Oh my god. This is, finally they give us what they want. Finally Hallmark gives us what they want. A fucking spy parody Christmas movie. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell us the plot. Tell me the plot. Come on. Okay, okay. Okay, let me, let me use my big brain. Oof, I gotta think of a good plot. Yes. All right. <laughs> this team? All right. There's a team, uh, like the best team for getting, like the ultimate spy team for getting stuff done. You know, you got like the hacker, um, the infiltrator, the act, like the, all those like great teams you see in those movies where it's like I got each person doing a job and they get hired for their biggest gig yet. This one dude, um, big, rich, stupid man, because all <laughs> capitalists are stupid. Yes. Um hires them to break into the North Pole and steal Santa's naughty list. And also his nice list, I guess. So that they can take his daughter's name off of it and put it onto the nice list without him realizing. Mm -hmm. And so... I, I haven't figured out how he got that intel yet. He probably has, like, a, one of the elves uh, paid for inside information. Mm -hmm. So the, the team ha has to go and infiltrate, and they do all their um, their fun shenanigans. <laughs> they do, they do, like, all the spy movie cliches. But um, by the end, they uh, some encounters they have with, like, people there in the environment teach them about the, the true meaning of Christmas and the holidays and all that bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then... You know, they 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 come to this guy and it's like, look, you're if you want your kid to not like, first of all, dude, it doesn't even matter because you're so fucking rich, you can get your kid whatever they want, anyways. And also, um, like if you just want them to be on the the not the nice list, you gotta raise them right. You gotta actually do your job as a dad and be good yourself because you're setting an example for them. Um. And then maybe he has a change of heart, or maybe in the more realistic version of this film, where he doesn't because people, rich people are incapable of self-reflection and change and not being complete douchebags, Santa comes in and he has a hundred knives, and he points them all at this guy and be like, you better be a better dad. You better. He's like, okay, I will. And then everything's all good. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay, so that's your guess? Um, yeah, also you need Pixel High. What it do, Hi. gang? Okay, so you ready for the summary? Yes. Operation Naughty is the special half hour Christmas episode of the Cartoon Network original series coming in at Kira Kids Next Door. <laughs> I never watched that fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you, like, hey, it could be a fake one, and you just went for the real, so there you go. <laughs> um. Okay. How's Krima? Krima's going. That's all I can say you need, but it's going. <laughs> Why do you feel sad? What? Because it's not a real Hallmark movie. I got duped. I thought we'd do a thing of, like, oh, we're gonna make up, like, make up titles entirely, not... Let me look for this special cartoon <laughs> episode. Okay, uh, I mean, we could do... I feel like we could, like, make up titles, or we could... Okay. Um, Either one, uh, then. I mean, if, if you want me to use preset okay. titles, I won't. No, I can either either way, it's fine. I, I guess I should have realized that a title that cool could not have been from Hallmark. <laughs> uh, well... Yeah. Let's kidnap Santa. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Um... Fair. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Let me find a title. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Uh, here, you don't get a point, but you get, uh, you get free Cartoon Network points. 
Okay, I guess I can use yeah. those. Yeah, for Cartoon Network's website only. All right. How about... Um... Hmm. How about... A Princess for Christmas? Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, so... It's about, um... It, it's about some guy. We'll call him Jacob. And Jacob is like... Like... He, he's like a he, he like he travels for his work so he's like never home for the holidays and then he goes to a foreign country one with royalty still in it's it's a made-up country for the sake of the you know the the film we'll call it like christmas ania or whatever so he's in christmas ania and then you know like he like you know there's a parade in honor of the 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 princess and then he sees the princess and he falls in love with her immediately. And he goes from a loner to an extroverted goofball. And, like, he has a lot... And he tries to, go and, like, meet the princess with all these wacky scenarios, but it doesn't seem to work. And he is just sad, and he gets angry. And then he, like, learns his lesson about, like, you know, maybe it's not about forcing it. It's just sometimes just about being yourself. And, um... He... Then he gets to meet with the princess, and he helps the princess through uh, her fears because she's afraid of becoming the queen. But then she becomes the queen, and she needs a king to rule beside her, so she marries Jacob because of how much she loves him for him. That's the Christmas princess. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, let me see the plot summary of this. <clears throat> it says, uh, At the invitation of an estranged relative... A young woman travels with her niece and nephew to a castle in Europe for Christmas, where she unwittingly falls for a dashing prince. So it's less like someone gets a princess for Christmas, it's more like someone becomes a princess for Christmas, I guess? I see. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh... Damn. Okay. Are you ready for, uh... You ready for the, for the thing? Yes. Okay, so here's another one that I'm going to do for you, Abby. Oh, oh, I, oh, I immediately found a good one. Okay. A royal corgi Christmas. <clears throat> a royal court Christmas? Corgi. Corgi. Okay. The, do the dog breed, yeah. This is, ex okay. This is a Christmas movie exclusively, or not exclusively, but mostly from the perspective um, from one of that uh, dead bitch may her soul rest in hell from one of her corgis during the holidays. As it runs around the castle, runs around London, um, falls in love with like a nice lady puppy, gets into shenanigans, and we cut back to the bumbling humans. We're trying to locate this puppy down before, this corgi down before... Uh, Christmas before the Queen notices. A lot of fun, a, a lot of comedy hijinks. Um, but then by the end, uh, the Corgi just sort of goes back on its own. You get that scene of like all of the um, the workers all haggled and stuff, but then the Corgi's just sort of in the Queen's arms, just relaxed, like, oh yeah, I've been here the whole time. Um, okay. So... You were partially right in that it does, in fact, star a corgi. Uh, yeah. yeah. The plot summary is, and I quote, Prince Edmund hopes to win his mother's love back with the gift of an adorable but unruly corgi. He hires an American dog trainer, Cecily, to make the corgi presentable for the annual Christmas ball. Hmm. Okay, closer than I thought I'd be. Um, yeah. Also, Unique says a movie where Satan becomes Santa and vice versa. Uh, don't you mean Krampus? Hmm. I guess Krampus would just be chillin'. Hmm. <laughs> He'd just what? be laughing with a box of, bucket of popcorn. Why don't I just imagine Krampus just, like, sitting back and listening to the Hamilton score? <laughs> yeah. He's just, he's like, I love that song where Hamilton dies. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, that's Christmas Corgi. Uh, 
Yeah, you, you, you get a freak. You get a corgi, not a point, but just here's a corgi. Sick. Yeah. All right. Let me. Hmm, let me look for something good. Hmm. Daddy, daddy. Hang on. Let me turn off the music for a second. I gotta check something. <laughs> um. How about? Oh, ooh, how about this? This, this is intrigue. The year without a Santa Claus. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a trick question. It's not a Hallmark movie. It's one of the claymation like, stop motion things. God damn it. <laughs> um, the plot is... Uh, I, I forget what the plot is, but I... Uh, yeah, uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> um, well, it did. It did give us the origin of the these wonderful song memes. Uh... Okay. Here he comes now. Okay. The big hand. Are you ready? Just a second. I want to play these songs. Uh, oh, this one, Mister. Mister. I'm Mister. I'm Mr. Hello. My zone, whatever I touch, turns to snow in my clutch. I'm too much. I, I love the Spanish version. The Spanish version? I mean, I guess there would be. Uh, no, the Spanish. Oh, yes, 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 I heard that. Touch the boom, the my clutch. Too much. Okay, uh, are you ready? Um, yeah, let me turn this shit off. It's okay. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, okay. So, you ready? Yeah. Ugly sweater party. Alright. Every year for Christmas. We have this girl and this guy always end up going to the same Christmas party. And these Christmas parties every year, uh, hosted by the same people, always have a tradition of having an ugly sweater contest. You got you win if you if you get the ugliest sweater. And these two, throughout the years, um, have become embittered rivals for this one particular event. Always trying to outdo each other with uglier sweaters every year. Um, taking wins and losses. Um, and this movie follows them throughout the years on this journey. As they slowly but surely actually come to know and appreciate each other. And fall in love. Hmm. And that's mostly what I got. Okay. Uh, do you want a uh, movie plot synopsis? Sure. An ugly sweater party turns into a bloodbath when an uh, evil Christmas sweater possesses one of the party goers. This is not a Hallmark movie, but an independent movie. Oh my god. It's horror. Oh my god. <laughs> there needs to be more horror. I know what we've been talking about. I think we, we mentioned this before. There needs to be, like, there. there's horror Christmas movies. We, there needs to be, we need to make, like, a horror Hanukkah movie. Yeah, exactly. Just, like, there's like a there's a tradition in Hanukkah where um you basically uh, kind of uh wait wait no that's Passover fuck but ba <laughs> I forget which one but basically there's uh, some Jewish holiday and it's like you know it's all about like inviting people and family and warmth and like you kind of like you know you leave the door open so that the ghost can you know, the ghost of some guy Jacob or whatever can come in and like sit with you right mm -hmm. so now I'm just imagining like. There's just some family, and they're so bitter, and they hate everything, and they don't do that, and then the door slams wide open, and then they're haunted by the ghost of Jacob. It's me, Jacob. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, hmm. that's that. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Oh god, I kind of have to piss. Go piss, go piss. I'll entertain people. You go piss. Okay. Let me, uh, fucking... Uh, close my eyes then. Okay. 
Oh, you close your eyes to piss? Damn. Alright, well, people of the internet, uh, this is your friendly reminder to please subscribe to Abby, uh, if you have the money for and like to, donate some bits, uh, go to his, uh, Ko-Fi page and, uh, you know, donate some money there, or commission him even, he's a very lovely artist. Um, he has a Twitter, you should go follow him there, he has a YouTube channel, you should go subscribe to him there, uh, and he has a Tumblr, his art blog, you should go follow it, and whatever, and he's Tumblr, so I wouldn't know. So yeah, do that, please. He's a very sweet dude. Deserves all the love, all the care, all the all the men to kiss him. I don't know. But Abby is one of the sweetest, nicest people I've ever met. Uh, very awesome, very supportive. Has been there for me during some of my worst times. So yeah, I'm going to be here for him. So please go follow Abby. Go do all that. He's my brother uh, spiritually, and I care for him so much. Uh, and I'm just, I know that I'm so fucking glad to know him, be there for him, and just, uh, you know, uh, do stuff with him, you know? Especially this stream. This stream is a lot of fucking fun, and I, I don't know, I'm having fun just being here with y'all. But yeah, go do stuff for Rabbi because he's done so much for us, and I'm just infinitely proud of him. I love him very much dearly. He's one of the most unique, uh, amazing people I've ever met. And, uh, I don't know. He, he means a lot to me. I trust him. I trust him with a lot. And, I don't know. There's not much else I'd, I'd rather be doing right now. I mean, I should be doing university work, but, eh, uh, no. So I'm going to be hanging out with one of my best friends. In the whole wide fucking world. He was there for me, even during points where I didn't think anyone was, so I'm just glad that he's there. Hello? Oh. Fucking... Oh no, it's his roommates being dicknips. It's fine, don't worry, Nikki. We can both be bad girls. Yeah, Abby is so fucking cool. Abby's the coolest wizard I personally know. And that's why I put him on my uh, Final Fantasy 1 team. So yeah, I'm gonna do that again. And again, and it'll be awesome. Honestly, if I play Final Fantasy 3 for my channel, like through Pixel Remaster, I'm gonna name everyone after the characters, because I think that'd be fun. I don't know. Hmm. Yo, what's up, motherfucker? What's up, bitch? There are so many fucking people over here. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I did the perfect set for a joke, basically. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I did a whole spiel, which you didn't hear, which you might hear on, you know, playback. It's just me giving kind words, and then when you arrive, I just say, what's up, motherfucker? I mean, that's nice. I'm yeah. choosing to believe you. Okay, I no, do want to... Theory. Hang on. Uh, I want to just do... I came up with my own version of the Snow Miser and uh, Heat Miser song. Uh, so I do just you want me to sing one of the parts? Um, well, I, well, it's just one... It's like an extra guy, so I just want to sing it uh, to see how it sounds. Luke Warm Miser? Sort of. Okay, go. Let me just sort of uh, see if I can get a little tr background music for this. The advertisements are here and they want me dead. Hey, Abby, have you thought about getting the Extreme Burger at Burger King? Only $5.99? I've never been to Burger King. I mean, I have, but I'd rather not. I just made up a burger. <laughs> burger King should hire you. Uh, hey, Burger King, uh, hire me. Oh, wait, I didn't want to be a cashier. Fuck. Burger King is not sponsoring this stream. Also, Nikki, do not worry. I should also be doing work for college, but I'm... Not, because I've given up. Anyways. Don't give up. Be... Could I give down? Yeah. Uh, can I give a hug? Yes. Hang on. I can actually uh, let me move you a little closer, so hug. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What the fuck? Are... I have too many layers in OBS. Why do you have so many fucking layers? 
I mean, the, not all the layers fuck. Just most of them. Hi. Okay. Blah, 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 Bug! Blah, blah. I've been really trying. Oh, no, I should. don't sing that while you're so close to me. Hug. Yay. <laughs> no. I, listen, listen. I can play that song and then just have a pl completely platonic hug. Yeah, essentially. Um, okay, let me see if I can... Let me just remember the lyrics really quick. Um... Cause I don't want to. I don't want to fuck up my own original performance. Come on, come on, make your own parody. Let's go. Yeah, obviously. Okay, let me just be sure this karaoke track's good. Okay. All right. This should be good. All right, this should be good. Okay. Okay, let's go. All right, hang on. Let me be sure I remember. All right, all right, here we go. I'm Mr. Wet Christmas, I'm Mr. Tight. I'm Mr. Silk and Satin, I'm Mr. Love You All Night. They call me Fuck Miser, whatever I touch, get so hot in my clutch. I'm too much. I love how you're just like, yeah, I'm a proud asexual, and then also you're like, I'm Mr. Fuck Miser. Someone has to do it. Also, you guys couldn't tell, but I was holding my son's ears for the whole duration of that, so don't worry. Uh, he's like, Dad, why am I dancing? Don't worry about it, Junior. Those little feet. I, I don't want to be dancing right now. I want to play. I want to play my Fortnite. Okay, you can you can play Fortnite. Okay, thank you, Daddy. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Um. Right. Hallmark. How long have we been going uh, for? Uh, one hour twenty four minutes. Golly, it feels like it's been a uh, lifetime. Uh, yeah, it's your turn, I believe. Um. Have you ever heard of Eight Crazy Nights? Oh, uh, yeah, I already, the, yeah, that's an Ann Sandler God movie, not a homework movie, too bad. We'll get you one day. Okay, let me just look for an <laughs> okay, actual... Well, well, yeah, I said that one, so... Let me look, oh, wait, I, my memory... Okay, okay, here's one. <laughs> hey, um, do you want to know why? Because there's no Christmas-related thing with Eight Nights. Why not? does have Eight Nights? Fucking Hanukkah. Oh, that's true. Bitch. The Eight Crazy Nights of Hanukkah. Yeah, I guess we've... It does seem like Hallmark's never actually made a Hanukkah movie. This Hanukkah? Two Jewish lovers find love. And that's it. Yeah. This Hanukkah. Tw mm. Twitter seems like it'll only stay up for one more night. But as if by some miracle, it stays running for eight more nights. <laughs> Damn. Join us as two unlucky employees try to break their way out of Twitter HQ because <laughs> Elon Musk has has turned himself into a cyborg robot to try and keep things under control, and they all get to try to escape. And along the way, they find love, and they make it out just in time to celebrate Hanukkah. The end. Okay. Okay. How about hmm? How about a heavenly Christmas? Okay, so that's real. Mm hmm Okay. Oh my, Elon Musk has turned himself into a pickle. Yes. Okay, so... Here's, my, pickle here's my guess. Here's my guess, right? Here's yeah. my guess. So, Heavenly Christmas, right? It's about a guy who's not religious. He doesn't believe in Jesus. You know, that's his character flaw, right? Fuck oily Josh. He doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll call this guy... Uh, we'll call this guy... Abby, right? So Abby. Abby, Abby hates Jesus. He hates the 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 Jubilee. This is slander, and I will not stand for it. You are the most atheist bitch I know. I'm agnostic. Exactly. I'm keeping so, my options open. <laughs> you're, so you're the pansexual of religions. I have to be pansexual in some way. I like the flag. <laughs> Damn. I mean, you could be pan-romantic, theoretically. I'm pretty sure I'm not much of a romantic, even though I want to be. 
Um, I, and that's definitely not how you spell Jesus, but maybe it should be. Anyway, so Abby hates Jesus so much, and like one, and like as an act of trying to like show that he hates Jesus, uh, he goes up to like a, a statue of him. He tries to like kick it, but like something's stopping him, and he sees a woman in the distance. And this woman uh, introduces herself as Mary, and she asks Abby, "Hey." Can you take me to ch- you know take me to church? And I like, worship to like a dog. Da, 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 da. I actually, actually, that song gives me nightmares. <laughs> uh, anyways, so they go to church, and then they meet this really cool youth pastor. <laughs> his uh, his name is uh, Gary, and Gary, along with Mary, uh, teaches uh, teaches Abby the way of Jesus. And then at the end of the film, uh, like Abby's like. Well, I gotta go mar- go to Mary and tell her I love her, and then like goes to the pastor and is like, "Hey, do you know where Mary is?" Oh, Mary. Well, Mary's in in our stories. So, um, see, Mary, it's right here, and then points to a statue that looks exactly like Mary, because Mary was an angel and was sent to he- from earth from heaven to earth to teach Abby the meaning of Christmas and the meaning of Jesus Christ. Okay. That's your answer, huh? It's your big, your next big hallmark thing. Yeah, you're gonna be the, you're gonna be the main star. You're gonna play uh, the cool youth pastor. Oh, okay. Um, you need Pixel says let's replace Jesus with Satan. Okay, so we need to teach you the the, the spirit of Satan. Anyways, but yeah, what's the plot? Tell me. Um, yeah, let me just real quick, real quick, get something going on here. All right, all right, here we go. Um, so the plot of <clears throat> this one, it says, Upon her untimely death, a workaholic who never put much value into the joys of Christmas finds herself um, recruited to be a Christmas angel and is assigned a... Hang on. And she is assigned a hard luck case Why? Um, Abby, I have some other bad news I have to tell you. A um, hard luck case that she ultimately falls in love with. You have to drink water. Oh, okay. I have milk. Is that all right? Um, <clears throat> is, it, is it holy milk? <clears throat> it is now. Now that I've put Jesus on my stream. Okay. Oh, cool. hang on. You need... Let me... Let me, get, let me... I gotta cast a spell on you, Neep, really quick. Hang on. Penis inconvenience. Mm. I'm not gonna cast penis inconvenience on them. <clears throat> okay. Let me um Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me just get myself set up. Do 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 to turn. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. All right. All right, Unip. I want you to concentrate your energy. I want you to close your eyes. I want to focus. I want you to focus on your desires. I want you to then clear your mind. Now, just stand. Just stay there. All right, are you ready? <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, whatever holiday you celebrate at this time of year is going to go very well for you. It's going to be a very merry time. So there's your spell. There you go. I should probably put the points for that one lower, huh? That wasn't really much of jack shit. I mean, it will work, but like... 
Ferris, are you alive? Am I? Oh, you your cor you spooked me. I thought your corpse was still there. All right, it's okay. Okay, Rob says, uh, guess who is actually playing Fortnite? Oh, tell me how it goes. I heard that Go uh, Goku's there. Shalom Yeladem, Shalom Yeladem, Baruchat Havim. Uh, th there's some, there's some uh, Judaism for you. Okay, you just in case. You need says okay. they don't, you, you don't celebrate holidays. Uh, hmm. Are you Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> no, no Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, I, okay. Then you may, that is a spell then, that is yours, and you may pass it on to whoever in your life you want to give it to, all right? That's for whoever you want. It's like a little gift you can give. Um, I have 10k points, I'm just saving for a devious day of my choose. What do I have that costs 10k points? Let me double check. Um, let's see. Even more. Uh, I think I've lowered the cost of my carry... Mm, there's some stuff. Well, I guess I'll see um, when the day comes. Uh, uh, pardon me. Okay. You are officially pardoned? Sick. Now I won't go to jail. So you're going to say, now I don't go to heaven? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to go there anyways, to be fair. I mean, I'm queen of demons. You want to go and party in hell? That's true. Uh, let me just turn the music back on. The fuck miser thing was just playing in my head, so I just wanted to get it out there. I'll do with it. Oh, okay. So it'll be a surprise for everyone involved. Great. Uh, but anyways, it's 4am. I should be joined to bed. Have a nice Christmas. Thank you so much for popping in, Rob. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you have a nice sleep. Good dog, Rob. Good puppy. Uh, Alright, you ready? Hanukkah, yeah, Hanukkah starts on the 18th, right? Don't fucking remember. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Okay, right. you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. For mine? Yes. Are you gay? Is that the title? Uh, n no, it's not. A very progressive film now. Okay, you ready for the real title? Yeah. Okay. So the title of this one is... And I want you to brace yourself. Are you braced right now? Hang on. Yes. I, I, I don't know if you braced, bro. Are you braced? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, you ready? Yes. Plus, uh, <laughs> Christmas class reunion. Oh, my God. Oh, no. There's so many ways you could go with that. This isn't another thing from a show I've never watched, is it? Uh, no, it is a real thing. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. I'm thinking sort of, um, a skater boy story. There were these two people, um, who knew each other back in high school, you know? And they were kind of, uh, into each other a little bit, girl and a guy. Um, but much like in... Uh, the song um one of them um had like a, a much better life than the other a better social circle of friends um just in general and so they sort of thought um they couldn't associate with the other person even though they sort of mutually liked each other um so they parted ways um bitterness as they graduated high school and moved off um on their own separate paths and now years and years later for their class reunion, they are reunited, and the person who um, who ended their the the budding relationship, as it were, because they were doing better, are are now doing much worse. Their life is quite rough. They haven't done much of note, and the other person is extraordinarily successful. Um, all that stuff, and they um throughout this class reunion try to um, reconnect, maybe heal old wounds that were there, learn more about each other, and maybe they can really fall in love this time. Hmm. Also, might I say, I'm looking at your um, Ko-Fi in yeah. your Dark Moon thing. Looks like the DreamWorks logo. 
What looks like the DreamWorks logo? Uh, Dark Side of the Moon. It was from a day ago. You put it on your Kofi. God damn it, it does. I actually updated that so that it would um look a little bit better, so I should probably uh, change that. Anyways, uh, so the plot is, uh, and I quote, Valedictorian Ellie is determined to host a perfect 15-year high school reunion. She looks forward to seeing her high school crush, Cam. She finds unexpected support in bad boy Devin. Hmm. I'm gonna guess her crush is probably married and then the bad boy comforts her through it and then they fall in love. Uh, maybe. Uh, I'd say that it doesn't have, like, enough specifics on here that it, your scenario could happen. So I'm going to give you a point, but then that point is going to fall in love with someone else. And then they're going to gravitate it's, towards you, but you already have a point. So. It's going to fall in love with another point, and then those points will run off together. Yeah, and then they'll go back to you, and then you guys will make a thruple. Yeah, so if I, at some unknown point in the future, I will have two points, but, like, not right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's not right now. Okay. I'm at that point in the night where I'm starting to get a tiny bit of a headache, but like not to the point where it's painful right now, but to the point where it's like a premonition of future pain, if that makes sense. Oh, so like the two points. Uh, oh, speaking of their back, uh, do you want to be the, their third? I uh, yeah, sure. That was quick. Okay, yeah, you get two points now. All right, anyway. sweet. Um, all right, let's see what I could do here. Uh. I might stop at, like, the two-hour mark, just because I don't know how much content we can get out of this premise. Uh, fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, also, my roommates are so loud, I'm so mad. Okay. Mm, um, okay. how about Hitched for the Holidays? This is a real one. Yes. Okay. Okay, so it's about a guy and a gal, and they're gonna get married. They're gonna get hitched, right? Mm -hmm. And it, but like, they're not really feeling it. They're they're like, you know, we didn't like really get to know each other. Like we're good friends, but like we don't really care about each other. So they run off, and then like they run off, and they just like do a bunch of friend stuff, mm -hmm. and you know, because like they really don't want to get married, but their parents were forcing them, and then they like they they help try to help each other find, you know, their perfect dream person. And then, uh, by the end of the movie, uh, like, the, you know, the whole thing comes together, and, like, the secrets are revealed is, like, we were supposed to get married, but I, you know, we, we didn't really like each other, so I fell in love with you, you know, Miranda, and, he, and then the girl says, yeah, same with you, Terry, and then, uh, like, the parents are, like, so mad, and, like, they're, like, how oh, can this be, and then, but then they're, like, mom, dad, I found love. And then uh, they divorce, they have to get married though. But then the, the plot twist is they didn't say that they had to keep being married. So like as soon as they get legally married, they then get legally divorced so they can be with the love of their dreams. And then all ends well. Nice. Okay, let me see the plot. Um, This is actually, this actually seems to be a movie, a movie with the... Um, the, the the fake dating turns real trope. Um, it says, uh, an attractive pair, um, a man and a woman, um, feeling the pressures from each of their families to have a significant other for the holidays, meet each other on a dating website, and agree to pretend to be um, each other's fiancés during the holidays to fool their families, get them off their backs, and it seems like they actually fall in love for real along the way. Huh. Interesting. Huh. I. It's simple, but it works. Mm hmm. Okay. Ooh. Mm hmm. Actually, that one's kind of boring. I. <gasps> Wait! They do have a Hanukkah movie! Oh! <gasps> I. Ferris, Ferris, listen to me right now. I gasped so hard that my ear popped and now I can hear again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, tell me about the Hanukkah movie. Wait, well, no, well, first you gotta guess the plot, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop, yeah, the obviously, yeah it's Drop that title on me. Come on, I'm ready. Yeah, Han it's called Hanukkah on Rye. Hanukkah on Rye? 
Hanukkah on rye. Like the bread? R-Y-E. Fuck, hang on. Type, type the, spell the title out for me. My hearing's not great. <laughs> Your ear pop. Oh god, no, it's, it should be better now, but like... So not rye like the bread, but... Just type it in chat, I guess. I put it in DMs. Oh, okay. Uh, let me open Discord again. Uh, it, I, I think they do mean the like they mean the plant, which is you know what's in rye bread. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, my first thought does go to the bread because I love corned beef sandwiches. Okay, Hanukkah and rye. So yeah, I do think they mean the bread. Um, all right. Why did you send me three dollars? Anyway, so what's the plot about? Okay, so Hanukkah on Rye. This is um story. Now this is big town, a big town girl made a name for herself in the big city. You've heard the the story. She comes back uh to hometown for Hanukkah. Gonna see her family for the first time in a while. Um, a little bit antsy about it. Because maybe maybe she has imposter syndrome is the thing. I'm adding depth to this plot. And she maybe she thinks, like, she even though she's done a lot, that she's like, hasn't done enough to be worthy of accomplishments. And um, each of these days, um, there's, um, there's an, a traditional Jewish deli in her hometown. I'm only making up this plot, by the way. This is entirely based on a Jewish deli that's near me that makes the best corned beef sandwiches ever, and now I really want one. Um, um, every day, um, while she's dealing with, like, the stress of the holidays and her worries, she goes to this deli, and, um, the nice worker behind the counter, you know, always takes her order. And each of the eight days of Hanukkah, she goes there, um... Gets her order. Um, it starts out when the guy um, is noticing she wears the same thing every day, so he has it ready for her. He starts leaving, um, um, helping her out with so some of the stuff she's stressed with. She ends up confiding him in him about some stuff. And um, slowly over the course of the holidays, they sort of, they get to know each other, and they find they really like each other. And even with, and even with, you know, her going back to the to the city and everything, she always makes time to visit her hometown, get herself some corned beef from her boyfriend. And, th and this is entirely fueled by the fact that I'm so hungry and I want corned beef right now. Abby. What? Abby, Abby, my boy, my my brother, my 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 man, my my my. The, the gay man to my life. Yes. 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 You're. It's such a good summer you gave, but it's not correct. Yeah, I figured as much, Ferris. I told you this was entirely fueled by my hunger for me. Uh, a matchmaker connects Molly and Jacob, but their new romance is put to the test when they realize they're competing deli owners. Will Hanukkah miracles keep them together? So it did involve. The de I was right that it involved delis, though. Somehow I got that uh, right. Okay, so you get um, so you know how they do that thing where it's like the ring inside a sandwich. Yes. Yeah. So you get a point, but it's in a side of sandwich, and you don't know that. So oh, mm, that point is now in my tummy because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me let me let me find. Let me scroll down this list a little bit. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Okay, how about, hmm. Why don't we try My Darling Christmas? Hmm. You know what? I, something in my gut tells me this is fake. I'm gonna kill you to death. I'm gonna beat you to death, <laughs> Ferris. I, I really? <laughs> Can I have one <laughs> fucking win? Can I have one W? <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Fuck you. You've lost your leg privileges. You've lost your leg privileges. 
<laughs> You're down there now. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh you are not God. coming to my Christmas party. <laughs> well, I'm Chris well, I'm Jewish, so it's fine. <laughs> you are not even getting the gingerbread cookies that my mother okay. makes, and they are the best. Okay, it's okay, I'm allergic to ginger. <sighs> Pain. Ow. Why, okay? Nikki, why? You okay? Fuck off. Stop giving me L's. <laughs> you okay? You're going on the Kringle fucker. Now Don't everyone can see you have nothing below the knees, <laughs> Ferris. Nothing I at all. I, hey, listen, listen, I know, I was in love with Viper from, uh, Kung Fu Panda. I like a girl with no feet, so maybe other people will. You're on the Kringle fucker now. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll just fuck the tree from behind. You're my first ornament of the season. <laughs> uh, I'll just escape. <laughs> <laughs> How did I guess that? How did I guess that? Get fucked. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, you gotta you be able to breathe! Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Okay, so what is it? What is it? What? No, I just made that up. I just made up the title. I thought that Wait, sounded like a real what, one. What was the title? It was My Darling Christmas. Is it, I'm gonna check if that's a real thing. Hmm, it might be. Okay. Hold up. Uh, nope, it's not. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> it just felt- like, it felt too fake. It just felt a little bit too fake. Kill, murder, <laughs> maim. <laughs> Ew. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. <coughs> okay, you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, you ready? Does my mic still do the thing where it, it, it turns off my voice if I get too loud? Um, I, I, I don't think so, at least from my end. Okay. I mean, not oh, on Discord, but like on OBS. I have no idea why it does that. Mm. Okay. Um. Here's a good one. I think you'll like it. Okay. Okay. Are Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. 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 You get You get ready. This yeah, I'm ready. Possibly the best title. Okay. okay are you ready? Yes. Was the fight before Christmas? Fight Club. Fight Club Christmas special. We're here. We made it. Uh, finally. And this time it's gayer than ever. D do you think it's fake? Mm, no, that's just what I... Uh, my ideal version of this would be. Would, would be. Alright. Mm. It's love. On the wrestling field. Two competitors oh. go into the ring. Only one will come out. For this Christmas night special event. One time only. Will these two fighters smash together their meaty muscles for dominance? Or will they smash together something else this Christmas like their hearts? Tune into Hallmark to watch just an actual porno. Because that's all wrestling is. R wrestling is porn to you? I've never watched it, um, so it might as well be porn because I've also never watched porn. Um, I- you've never watched porn? Okay, I've watched, like, maybe a couple, just out of- You know, you know the- I watched the clip from the one, you know, the meme, Are you serious? Right in front of my salad? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've watched that clip. Um, it just doesn't- Watching real people just makes me feel like, ugh, like, that's not sexy to me. Um, uh, but also- uh, it, If it's women, then I can deal with it. Okay. It's just like, y'all got flesh and skin. I don't want to deal with that. Um, but also, the one other porn video I've watched was, um, I watched it because the premise was that there was two people fucking while riding hoverboards. Beautiful. Not like actual, you know, like the, the shitty, like, what the Vine teens 
used to use on the wheels and shit. Um, the, the most amazing part of that video was that, like, the, the, the woman, they were both completely naked except for the woman who had on, like, these big, big, bulky, tall stiletto heels. Like, the heels themselves were not, they were, like, you know, razor thin stiletto heels, super high. And she was fucking keeping her balance perfectly on that hoverboard, in those heels, while being fucked. And it's like, god damn. Mm. That's talent if I've ever seen it. Okay. Uh... Okay, so the fight before Christmas is the Power Puff Girl special. Mm. I remember now. I remember that. I was thinking about this this whole time. I forgot that's what it called. I remember. Oh, God, I've been thinking about that. All right. Okay. Uh, do I, it's, the stream has been going on for an hour and 53 minutes. Yeah. Let me Let me try one more then. Okay, one more. <laughs> also, I need to show you a Twitter account I feel like you'd love. It's called Raw Porn Moments. And it's just like memes related to porn, and it's really fucking funny. I do, I do like that. <coughs> Alright. Um. Alright. How about this? Love. Lights. Hanukkah. Fake. Uh, that one's real. <laughs> oh, okay, like... Love Lights Hanukkah. Let me guess it then. Uh, well, okay. So it's about, uh, it's about, um, okay. This is hard. So Love Lights Hanukkah, right? Mm hmm So it's, it's like a, it's like a movie set. It's set on a movie set, right? Mm -hmm. And like, finally, you know, some of the executives are like, okay, you know, we'll have a Lanka movie for the Jews. And then, uh, you know, like, they hire some, like, up-and-coming writer to, uh, you know, write the movie. And then they get a female director. And then the two fall in love while making the movie. And, you know, it's, it's like a love story. And it's just very nice. And it's all about, like, finding success, not through you know, your accomplishments, but just by being who you are and finding love in your life. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Um, not close. This one says, As Christina prepares her restaurant for its busiest time of year, she gets back a DNA test revealing that she's Jewish. The discovery leads her to a new family and an unlikely romance over eight nights. Actually kind of sweet. That is truly amazing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Is there one called Twas the Night Before Brad? Hmm. Oh, God. I don't even want to think about that. Okay, you want to wrap things up here? I suppose so, yeah. I just zoned <laughs> out for a second, I apologize. No, that's fair. Thank you for joining me tonight, Ferris. Um, you can't stay on my Christmas tree, by the way. I, I, I was getting comfortable here. Like, one of the fairy ornaments was kind of giving me eyes. Like, I don't think she liked Absolute, it. Absolutely. There were a few fruit ornaments on there because it is the Kringle fucker. There was nothing else. I, I mean, I like fruity people, so. And off you go. Stop. I don't want y'all to have fun. I just wanted to have fun. Is that so wrong? You will have fun when you stop tricking me. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for um, a lovely night of us ringing in the holiday season by... What did we even do tonight? It feels like the past hour was just... Two hours was just nonsense. I mean, that's that's the fun part of it, isn't it? That's true. Um, and without further ado, why don't we see who we could raid? Or if we even have enough people for a raid. 
I mean, there's Subbo Mac, and they are playing oh. Amogus. Is Mac still streaming? Yes, uh, he, yes, uh, they are. Uh, I'm going to be right back because I'm going to get my fucking Switch because I want to join Mac. I do. Well, wait, I can join on my phone, right? Because I also want to join. Yeah, um, yeah, I think they're playing on modded. Okay, I'll be on mute. But yeah, you, you know, do your outro. Everyone subscribe to Abby and all that stuff. Go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sub. Let me think of. All right. We're going to go raid my friend, Subo Mac. He's playing Among Us, and then I'm going to play Among Us with them. <coughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, everyone. I'm going to take this Jesus down. Uh, after the stream's over. So let's raid my friend Subble Mac. And what should our raid phrase be? Hmm. Um, Mac for now. Um, let's see. What would a Hallmark movie about them be called? Hmm. How about The Ghost for Christmas? That's their Hallmark movie. Copy paste that. That's our raid phrase. Everyone, give Max some love. Let me just go to their channel. And also, let me turn off this fucking holiday music. Alright, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful, magical night. Um, go follow my friend, Ferris. Um, and I think I'll try to stream. I know I haven't been streaming very often. I'm definitely going to do more Pokemon. Um, some stuff's happening that I gotta work out for with college and everything. But at that time, it should be fine. So, uh, raid! Raid. Oh god, I think, okay. they're, I think they're using the, uh, blender out there. Well, I'm going to...